I'm Sarah Bell. I'm a cartographer at Esri. I'm also part of Esri's ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud team. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically replace the ArcGIS Online symbology with your custom symbology from your own Adobe Illustrator libraries. I have one library open right here. It's a real estate symbols library. And symbol libraries are really great for things like point symbology and maps. An Adobe Illustrator library is an Illustrator file that contains a collection of symbols, brushes, or swatches that can be easily applied to Illustrator artwork. And I'm going to do this video using the example of a symbols library, which is really great for things like point symbology and maps. When you open an Illustrator library, the default view is this thumbnails view you see here. But you can go to this upper right menu in the symbols window and select list view, and then you can view the name of the symbol as it's saved in the library. For example, this symbol is called Starbucks, this one called McDonald's, this one traffic signal, and so on. Now we're going to replace the symbology in a web map that I've already added to the compilation window with the symbology from this Adobe Illustrator library that I just showed you using the ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud extension. And there are three simple steps for setting up the extension to automatically have your custom Adobe Illustrator library symbology applied to your map upon syncing. The first step is to rename the layers in the compilation window's table of contents to match the library item name that you want to use. So if we look at the table of contents, we can see we have, if I expand this, I see it's a point layer, and it's called traffic signal, and it's all one word. So if I want to replace this point symbol with this traffic signal symbol, I can go into my Illustrator library, double click on the symbol name, right click to copy the name, go into the compilation window's table of contents, and in that same layer, double click, highlight the name, and paste. And now the layer that I want to replace with this traffic signal symbol in my library has the identical name in the table of contents. And you can see I already have McDonald's and Starbucks with the identical name in the symbols library, so I don't need to rename those. The second step is to connect the extension to the libraries. And to do that, I go to the Map Boards window, and from this upper right-hand menu in the Map Boards window, I select Settings. In the Settings window, there's a General, a Map Boards, and a Library setting. And from those settings, you will select Libraries. And then you can browse to the location of your custom Adobe Illustrator library. And then just click OK. The final step is to turn on the Processes in the Processes window. So I go to the Processes window. There are four processes that I can choose to run. And in this case, I'm using a Symbols library. It's that Real Estate Symbols library. So I just select Use Custom Symbols. And now I'm ready to download. I've shown you how to set up the ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud extension to replace your symbology with custom Adobe Illustrator library items upon syncing. But you don't have to just do this upon syncing. You can also run these processes after you download the map. So you have a lot of flexibility of when you apply your custom symbology with the extension. So let's take a peek at our downloaded map. And I'll minimize this. And you can see that I have now replaced that simple point symbol with this traffic signal symbol on my downloaded map. Also, if I zoom in here, you can see that I have a Starbucks icon where all of the Starbucks occur on this map, as well as a McDonald's icon. So now you can use this extension to apply your custom Adobe Illustrator libraries to your ArcGIS Online hosted maps.